So, here we are again. Let me tell you a story. A story about regret. You see, I believe that regret is born from the lack of trying to take an opportunity. Even if you try, fail and look like an idiot, you can at least say you tried, and you know that ain't gonna work out. But if you don't, you'll be thinking about it for the rest of your life, pointlessly questioning if it would've worked out. You know what, let me just tell you via a poem. A day in the cafeteria. I started to tease. The young boy thought to himself, Ew, she's worse than bees. Whether or not it was a joke, or a backmailed prank, doesn't matter now, they would have worked, or sank. A girl named Trinity was the first one to open his eyes. But she liked minions, so that reality dies. The most haunting memory, though, was this girl named Cece. She was nice enough to help him out, make some things look easy. He had minimal reaction to the pure kindness. She acknowledged his existence. On a percentage level, 100% benignness. One of the last memories of her, beginning of summer vacation near. He got to say goodbye and... Insert meme song here. He realized way too late. The reality he didn't take. To quote Callahan, That was his mistake! Whether or not he could have made these work is irrelevant to the frown. It was the lack of trying that created the regret from halfway down. Uh, no? Before you go, HA! What a simp! Why you are correct. The fear of simply talking to a girl is what hits me direct. The fear of being turned down. The fear of feeling like I'm mentally too. The most horrifying word to a young lad? Ew. If you asked me the right vocals about being in love, there would be nothing to sing. From first grade to quarantine graduation, I didn't learn a damn thing. Valentine's Day makes me miserable. It feels like a fret, trying to take me back to the deep down regret. This isn't just about love. Well, mostly. I've never had a real friend. Just artificial assholes that send me down the deep end. My town's full of racists. My future's been put on delay. The lack of social experience is how I turned out today. The lack of social skills, social esteem to drown. The lack of worth, shyness all around. As long as I remain in this town, I'll still be reminded of the regret from halfway down. Let me out! Oh, that? Nah, I, I don't really care. I don't give a shit! Look, at the end of the day, does it really matter? The fact that I, of all people, graduated at all, I mean, that's gotta mean something to the platter. For the love of gods, please stop telling me. Baker, stop apologizing. A modest life is simply how I see. Honesty is simply how I function. It doesn't mean I'm constantly in the blues, even with the fact I never learned how to tie my own shoes. Even though I've gotten better at communicating and being outside for almost a whole day, the regret's still there, but that's okay. Eventually we're moving out to an area that's not trash, but don't worry, I'm, I'm still cooking another batch. Whether it's a shitty meme or dumb war, despite all the new problems, I feel way less sore. I spent way too much time on a parody that no one's gonna get, showing my true self to people I've never even met. Despite my situation, no job as far as I can see, despite everything, I'm still just me. I apologize I made you sit for this, or if this makes your skin crawl. Anyone who's watching this, despite sometimes you make me feel extremely dead inside, I will only say this once. I love you all.